All right, once you've gotten your pre-flight inspection done, you got your plane started, you got it tuned up the way I taught you earlier, um, there's one more thing I want you to do before you take your plane off, and you'll see that we do this often in our videos. What we do is I'm going to take the wing off since I don't have it rubber banded down. Um, while your plane's running, you're going to want to take it and stick it straight up in the air like this and then back down with it full throttle and kind of move it around. The reason why we do that is to make sure that when the plane is moving like that, when it's going to be maneuvering around in the air, you know, your gas tank's going to be sloshing around and if it's not quite tuned right, just perfect, a lot of times the plane will die. So that'll be a good test for you before you take it off the ground to make sure that it's not going to die as soon as you get into a climb or as soon as you get into a dive and so on. So uh, that's your last real pre-flight thing that you need to do to test your plane. And then, uh, like I said, always check, check, and recheck everything to make sure your plane is going to come down in one piece because I'll tell you what, rebuilding, you know, it can be the fun part of the hobby, but you know what, I think all of us would prefer to just fly and not worry about rebuilding. So, I mean, if you can, keep your plane in one piece. Check, check, and recheck. And that's about it for your pre-flight checklist. Okay, so you got your ARF kit. You got it all put together. You got your motor in. You got your gas tank in. You got your servos. You got your transmitter. You got your receiver box. You got your battery. Your plane is RTF. Well, guess what? No, it's not. It's not ready to fly yet because you need to have gas. Uh, now a little overview on the gas. There's different percentages of gas. You have 10% nitro fuel, you got 20% and all the way up to 50% nitro fuel. Um, now as far as like the 20, 30, 40, and 50% nitro fuel, I haven't dealt with. I don't know what, it's, it's, uh, uh, what motors need that higher grade fuel, so you're going to have to do your own research on that end. But I know that most 40 size motors go with the 10% nitro fuel. Um, the nice thing about that nitro fuel is it has uh, oil already in it, so it keeps your motor nice and lubricated. All right, after that, you're going to need a flight box. Your flight box is going to have uh, your battery in it. Your battery is going to be used for your electronic motor to turn over your pop at high speed to make your engine start. You're going to need the glow igniter that sits on the glow plug here that heats the glow plug up to make the engine fire. Uh, you're going to need a fuel pump for pumping gas in and out of your gas tank. Also, it's that electric motor. That electric motor is powered by the battery, and the battery turns over the prop and uh, at high speed so your motor can start. Alrighty, guys. I know it's been a long trip. Uh, we've got a lot of information to process, a lot of stuff to go through, and if you're looking at buying one of these, it's about five, six hundred dollars to spend. But I gotta throw out a few thank yous out there. I gotta thank every single person that's taken the time to put out an informational video here on YouTube because I think it is so important for me to teach what I know and for what you to teach what you know and for what the person that learns from you to teach the next person because if we can teach each other it's going to be one less crash one less mistake that we'll make uh, I got a few other thank yous to make I got to thank uh, RC Power or RC Superpowers uh, com they also have a YouTube channel they do a lot on RC I'm sure if you're watching this you've probably already seen three of their videos they do a lot of the electronic stuff they don't do too much with nitro so that kind of opened the door for me to uh, make this video um, but as far as the trainers go, if you ever get sick of the trainers and you want to move up to a 3D foamy airplane or a bigger 3D plane, watch those RC Superpowers videos because they tell you a lot about how to build your own stuff and they didn't really go in detail in the basics and that's where this whole video concept of mine came from. I just want to put this out to show the complete and total novice that has never even seen an RC airplane before and get them to the point of seeing to flying and uh, my next big advice to you is read read and do some more reading read your books research on YouTube do every little bit of research you can do because I'm sure there's probably something I left out um, other than that get yourself a flight simulator 
Flight simulators are great teaching tools. I mean, it'll give you a chance to crash this airplane a hundred times before you actually have to spend a dime other than, you know, roughly your $200 for uh, a real flight simulator. You can pick up other flight simulators for pretty cheap, uh, like 40 bucks, but your video quality and stuff like that isn't so great. But yeah, I mean, if, if, you, get a, if you get a simulator, it's going to teach you how to, to fix mistakes. And, you know, I always go on the simulator and I just screw around as much as possible because I know if I get in trouble on that simulator and can get out of trouble on it, then in real life I should be able to, too. But, like I said, I hope this video has helped some people. I hope it gives you a chance to uh, take your ARF and make it a flying plane. Uh, any questions or comments, please feel free to ask. I... I can't guarantee I'm going to be able to answer everything, but uh, I'll, I'll do my best. And uh, every day I'm learning, and every day you should be learning too. So uh, have fun RCN, man. Get out there. Get out and fly. It's too much fun not to. Have a good one. All right, the next thing is is uh, we're going to go over this more in detail on the pre-fright. We shall just leave that in there. <laughs> Alrighty, YouTube, you're looking at my buddy Matt. This guy was the cameraman for this entire <laughs> video. This bullshit long fucking process. And it's cold. It's um, and it's cold out here, <laughs> so he's been shivering the whole time. But this boy here, uh, either on my YouTube channel or another YouTube channel, has got a shit ton of his own original beautiful music, and we're going to have that online here pretty soon. Hey, thanks, YouTube. And, uh,. Hopefully you guys will like his shit, and I'll have a little linky link off to the side for that or whatever. Um, so check out his shit for me, too. We'll have that on there here in a couple of weeks, hopefully. Get a flight sim. Get a flight sim. Are you kidding me? It's finally over? I didn't think that guy would ever shut the fuck up. Jesus, man. Oh, it's going to be funny. <laughs> oh.